a servant of God, I am Robert Simon. Beloved in Christ, loving greetings. In Romans chapter 4, Paul the Apostle says, To him that worketh not, but believeth on him that justifieth the ungodly, his faith is counted for righteousness. Whereas, in James the Apostle says, Faith, if it hath not works, is dead. Commenting on these passages, one of my dear viewers made a lovely observation and said, It's like a suspense novel, sir. Thank you. Another enthusiastic viewer, who is also very regular in reflecting on these talks, has given a, a philosophic statement. Faith is the connecting power into the spiritual realm which links us with God and makes him become a tangible reality to the sense perception of a person. Oh, very good. Commented a studious Vati couple as follows. In Romans, we call it phase one of Christian life. To be made righteous, one needs faith. He cannot be made righteous by his works. Then phase 2. James. He is now made righteous through faith. And if that faith doesn't make him work, then faith is dead. Oh, they are hitting at the mark. And there are a few livelier Lovely participants, praise God and thank you all very much for your valuable comments. No answer is wrong. The fact of the matter is, the context of these two passages require contextualization. One cannot earn his salvation or moksha and have a right standing, that is righteousness, with God having no guilt against him, having no guilt against him by any of his own works such as penance or religious practices or charity, rites and rituals, so on so forth. His faith on the finished work of God on the cross of Calvary where Jesus was offered as his substitutory sacrifice will be counted for his Vimoksha, and that is his righteousness. When one is saved by faith, he must show the works of that faith in his Christian life. Otherwise, his faith is inoperative and dead. Let me read it again. When one is saved by faith, he must show the works of that faith in his Christian life. Otherwise, his faith is inoperative and dead. When Paul, not only James, was writing to the church of Thessalonica, was commenting on that work of faith and labor of love and patience of hope in our Lord Jesus Christ. It is in 1 Thessalonians chapter 1, verse 3. By grace we are saved through faith, and that not our works, it is the gift of God. We read this in Ephesians 2.8. When we are saved by faith, we must have acts of faith. When we are saved by faith, we must have acts of faith. In our Christian walk, all these three, work of faith and labor of love and patience of hope in our Lord Jesus Christ are imperative and important. We shall consider some of the works of faith, God willing, in my next talk. Till then, God bless you, God be with you. I am yours, Robert Simon.